Hello there, let me tell you about this craziest dream that I had last night. Where do I begin? So the dream begins in a concert hall, I think. If I'm not wrong, I just finished watching a concert of some band and I was walking outside with my friends. We came out of the concert hall and they were walking at the back of like some restaurants or something. And then there was a it was like a group of uh, chefs or cooks People in the uh, restaurant industry, so they were like hanging out at the back of the restaurant area, right? Like having their their lunch or dinner, you know, having a smoke break or something. So there were quite a few of them. Suddenly there was like shouting behind us. So we turned around and looked and then there was this guy, it's like mid-20s. And then he was like shouting at this old lady who was in her 60s. So the old lady was clearly like a cleaner or janitor. She was like someone who cleans the tables and sweeps the floor and so on. And then he was shouting at this old lady like really explicit vulgar words, right? So I turned around and told my friends, why are kids so rude these days? They don't know how to respect the elders. In their mind, they think it's okay to speak like that to someone. And then we continued walking. Then I noticed a few of the other cooks, waiters, whoever, you know, like looking at this guy shouting at the old lady and then, but no one stepped up and do, to do anything to help the old lady. Like neither did I or nor my friends. And then we continued walking for a bit and then we sat down. So we went like away from the view of the place. Like, and then we sat down at some benches and we were just having conversation. And out of the blue, we heard like shouting coming from where we were earlier. So I climbed onto the bench to have a better look at what's going on, what the whole commotion was about. And this guy, who was shouting to this old woman, he was grabbing her in his hand, strangle her or something. I don't really recall that part. And then there was another guy. He came in and he was like trying to stop, uh, trying to stop the guy from hurting the old lady. So the guy who was hurting the old lady, I call, her, call him A. Guy A. Now we came in to stop him, I called him Guy B. And all of a sudden, the old lady wasn't there anymore. And then it was just a confrontation between Guy A and Guy B, right? And these two started fighting. And suddenly both drew weapons out, like knives each. And then Guy C, out of nowhere, for no reason, Guy C came into the picture. And he was trying to separate Guy A and B from fighting. I don't know why, guy B became angry at guy C, and then just like that, guy A was out of the picture. So now it was a fight between guy B and guy C. I don't know what was going on. And guy C was like begging guy B to spare guy A. I hope you're following me, okay? I'm very sorry if it's not very clear. You could see like guy C like agreeing to like do whatever guy B says. And then guy B <laughs> out of nowhere he drew out a huge ass sword. Sorry, a huge ass saw, right? Really sharp teeth on the saw. He put a sword below guy C, like in between his legs. So these are the legs. And then he took the sword and then he like he put it like right there. And then you could see, like, Guy C was already ready to accept his fate. Like, he was ready to die or something. Like, he was, like, he was just there. Like, he knew he knew it was the end. I had no idea, like, how the hell did this escalate so fast? The next thing I knew when Guy C was, like, yes, I accept my fate. And Guy B, he started, like, sawing started sawing the guy like down and then like started going up so i thought it was, like he was going to stop like he was it was more like a threat to threaten a guy you know to scare him but no he fucking he he started sawing and next thing i know i could see like blood started appearing on like the teeth of the saw and then people started screaming and everything like and i was like what the hell what the hell what the hell i told my friend oh my god he's sawing the guy alive and he didn't stop it, like, he just went on and just sawed, like, half the guy up, like, all the way up to your chest. 
And then people were like screaming and blood everywhere. And the guy who was sawing him looked so angry. Like, I don't know why he was so angry for. And like, and then I woke up from my dream. I was like, what the actual f*** is that? How? How did my dream escalate so much, so out of proportion, so random? From, from from finishing a concert to a guy getting sawed in half, like, from his dick up. A guy getting sawed in half. We are go for launch. 